All right, welcome fellow Shopify entrepreneur. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of coding. Well, this is how you can add your logo and remove your store name from your packing slip or you can add your logo above your store name. I currently run and have been running Shopify stores for a very, very long time and I firmly believe you don't need to know anything about coding to run your online store. That is where all of these Business hosting platforms like Shopify are completely transitioning away from to make these things accessible to anyone. You don't need to know coding to run your own website. However, you can't deny that everything that you do see on your online store is in a way code, liquid code. And in this case, Shopify is run on Ruby. On my channel here, I'm gonna start a new playlist and a new series of beginner Shopify entrepreneur, beginner Shopify coding tutorials, because sometimes you just need a little bit of coding information because everything that you're running on your online store is is code like this and you don't need to know really anything about it with how easy and accessible themes are and website design are however sometimes you just need a little bit of coded solution maybe you just want to move your title over to the middle or maybe you just want to change the size of the logo just a little bit these are very simple code edits and if you learn a little bit you can learn a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and it's a good skill to maybe start developing or have a little bit of introduction to for this. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're just gonna be adding this to our packing slip because I did this the other day in one of my Shopify stores and I found it very fun, very easy, very beginner friendly. So what we're doing here is we're in our Shopify admin and we're gonna to go to our shipping and delivery settings. Once here, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the page and right here we're gonna see packing slips. So this is the list of items printed and included in the shipment. You pop this in the package before you send it. Uh, this is called the packing slip. Now we want to add our branding everywhere we can. It's like, it's much like a favicon. You see here in the top right of these tabs, we have the Shopify logo. That's called a favicon. Good for branding, small little improvement there, and it makes it look good. It makes it look well. So you can add this to your packing slip by going here and editing this template. Now, uh, this is what we see. As we said, everything that you really look like is code. And this is the code for the editing the packing slip. This is the default packing slip. This is untouched right now. And so if I click preview template, we will see just random information here for the example of how this looks with no real information. So don't worry about any of this. This is just a test store with test uh, information. And this is just random generation generated information just to show you where the addresses would be and the in products and delivery and stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be editing this part. This is uh, where your store's name is. And so we're going to be replacing this with the logo and we're also going to be putting the logo above it like so, which is some fun little code edit. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add our logo or our icon or our branding to our admin that we're going to be adding to the packing slip. So we want to add it here. We want to go to our contents here on the left and to our files and we want to upload our file. I don't have a logo. So what we're really do, going to do really quick is we're just going to use Shopify's logo maker tool. You can use this to make a quick logo. If you're just starting out, there's a ton of online tools that can help with this like Canva or whatever. Uh, but just to help you get going, you can always change that later. But for now, we're just going to use this just to show it off. Off. It'll take two seconds. So we're just going to start maybe a pet store and we want a visual style of friendly for our pet store and youthful maybe for our pet store. I typed in the name best pets. Why not? And then we are making an online store and then we click next and we have some options here. I kind of like this one. So we're just going to click edit logo. I'm just going to change maybe the icon here to something animal like maybe a nice dog or maybe that is a goat. There we go. So now we click next and we can hit download and then we can add this to our store. All right. So once you grab the image and you upload it and we will look something like this, we are still in the file section and this is where we will see all our images that we use on our site. And the most important thing to notice here is the link on the left. So this is what we're going to use to link input this location into our code. And then there's a part in the instruction right here that indicates to paste the copied URL of the location of your logo. So we can do this together. So the first step here is from your Shopify admin, we want to go to our settings and our delivery. And this is for add a logo and remove a store name first. So below, we're going to do add a logo above the store name after. So there's two little instructions here. And so once we go to our settings, shipping and delivery, go to the packing slip section, click edit and find the following code that references your store. We can navigate back to this page where we found this. And we're looking for this code. This is found right here at the top. And it's three lines that includes the name of your store. And it essentially, essentially these are variables. And it is just saying to take the name of your store, 
that is found in the shop name variable and to put it into uppercase font. And that's all this is doing. And that's where we find this area right here. And so on the code, we could find that section right here. For me, it's line four, five, and six. So the next step here says to highlight this code and delete it. So we can do this, highlight the code, and I'm pressing delete. And I'm not adding any other anything else, no spaces. I'm not closing this empty space. We're just going to leave that as is. So now what we can do in the space that you've created, write the following code and paste the copied URL where indicated. So this is a two-step process. So what we can do from here is we can just copy this right from the help center, this copy, and we go back here and in line four, see how I haven't moved the cursor. It's still blinking there. We can just click control V to paste and we've inserted this line of code onto line number four. Now it has one little spot here that says paste the file of the URL here. So we're gonna have to go back to our admin. And in this case, I'll just click save for now and we'll come back to it, but you can just open another tab so you don't have to do this all over again. And so what we're gonna do to find the image URL, we just have to go to our contents, our files, find the logo that we want to use. And then right here at the end, there's a copy button. That's all we have to do. So once we click this copy link that is saved. And then if we go back to our edited packing slip code, we can now add this right here where it says paste the file URL and we click control V. And now we can see that the URL of the exact file from our content page is inputted into our packing slip. If we click save and we click preview template, we will now see that our logo has replaced the store name and put our logo there. Now you can say this is too small or maybe you want it over to the right and this is how code works. In this case, I'm gonna just make it a tiny bit bigger because this is also just a little, a little adjustment that we can do. So we can see here that there's the style variables, the width and the height. If I double this or if I add in 600 there, we're really gonna blow up this image and we can click save. Now we can see we have significantly <laughs> much too drastically increase the size of our logo. But if you wanted to adjust that a little bit, those are the pixels. PX stands for pixels. And that is the length and the width uh, size of your image. And then obviously make sure if you're making it very big, you have a very high quality image. In this case, uh, it's not very high quality. Um, as we can see a little bit of the pixels here in the S and we can see a bunch of things, but that is how we do it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this set of instructions here to add the logo above the store name. But what do we do now? Cause we've already adjusted this, we want to bring this back to our default settings without this line. So always at the bottom of these things, you can find this revert to default button. And if you haven't touched anything, this button won't be clickable. So all we have to do is click revert to default and it'll give us this change. You know, the change can't be undone. We're going to revert to default. Now we can see that the button is unclickable now that this is back in its default stage. If we go back to the top, this is the area of code that we deleted in the first set of instructions. So we've already completed this set and now we're going to expand our application of this knowledge just a little bit further. So it starts out the same. We can navigate to our settings, our shipping delivery, our packing slips, edit, and then find the following liquid variable that references your store name. This is the same as the above and we can find it in the same place. So we'll find it here and we will just hit delete and we won't move anything else. Now in the space you've created, write the following code and paste the copied URL where indicated. So this is all the same again. And we can grab this from the Shopify Help Center guide and we can control V and pop that right back in. Once again, we're just gonna grab our link to the URL by clicking copy link. And once again, we're just gonna paste our file URL here like so. Now that we've done that, we have a few extra steps. So we need to find the following liquid variables here. Starts with the shop title name and ends with the font size 1.9. So one quick trick here is we can actually just use control F and we can type in 1.9 and then we can hit next and that will find us the area that we were looking for here. As we can see, it starts with the shop title, web kit box flex six, web kit flex six, flex six, font size 1.9 and then a close bracket. We can find that exact area here from lines 227 to 32. So in the instructions, it doesn't say to delete this, but it says to add a new line at the end of the variables listed above and paste the following code. So we can go to the end of these variables. We can add an extra line of code. We can paste 
what they told us to paste. So now if we preview our template, if everything goes according to plan and we click preview our template, we can now see that our image, our logo is right to the left of our store name. This can work very well for branding, very easy to do. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. That is a quick little introduction walkthrough of adding your logo to your packing slip. And of course, there's a ton of different things that you can do, like styling your packing slip and all kinds of variables. You can get definitions of all the different store variables, order variables, and then this is starting to expand our knowledge of what we already did. So like I said, that's just a really quick introductory, very beginner friendly, introduction to adding some coded solutions to your online store and your online website. That is a, a pretty straightforward, simple little guy that you can add, but I find that this is kind of equivalent to adding a favicon, obviously a favicon in the corner. I did a video about favicons if you wanted to check out my channel for that. Um, that can easily be done within the store editor, but because it's a packing slip, we have to adjust the code of what this is printed as. And now that we start to see what these variables do and how they're found and how you can input certain information, we can see a very simple beginner friendly tutorial of how you can add your logo to your packing slip or replace your store name with your packing slip or expand the size of your packing slip. And if you start to like code, you can learn more about it and find more and more custom coding solutions. I would just be careful about adding co custom coding solutions to your online store because if ever your theme updates, those custom coded solutions don't carry over to the new theme. So if you're using like a Dawn Shopify theme, for example, and I think the current theme is around 14, if it goes to 15 or 14.01, those custom code solutions usually won't carry over on the online store. So just be careful about that. But, but I completely understand running Shopify stores for such a long time. Sometimes you just want a little custom coded solution and finding the code for specific things. You can find a lot of that stuff on the Shopify community forums, which is an excellent way of helping you do that. Uh, with all the partners and staff over there. Anyway, I hope this helps. If it didn't, just go through the video once again, nice and slow, take it one step at a time. If this video has helped you, give the video a like so I know. I just like helping fellow entrepreneurs on this channel and building a community of like-minded Shopify entrepreneurs that are all chasing the same dream. If that's something that interests you, feel free to subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.